Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Hide the Corpse. In this video we're going to look at the Any% percent run which covers all 6 main levels. They can be done in any order and the total time is the cumulative time for each. The reason for this is because the loading screens are all exactly the same length and you know, obviously just going like this and choosing a level isn't really worth counting. So we exclude it from the run and just use the in-game time. Now, as I say, you can choose any level. I normally start with Diner as the hardest, then go to Museum, which has a difficult one, and then I just do the rest in pretty much order. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to look at them in action. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that during the cutscene, you have three movements. So I can walk here and get right up to them, like just right in the cutscene. So you want to pretty much do that whenever possible. It will depend on your play space, but, you know, if you can, you can, if you can, you can. And, yeah, it'll help you if you can, but don't just So the first thing you need to do is turn on the back. This is just like tapping, so you don't need to turn on anything, it's death simple. And then pick him up by the shoulders and dump him in. Now, as you notice, me dumping him in is really him up by the shoulder means you've got less chance of the grip snapping. Now here he's got a leg sticking out, that should be okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab so. If you grab two, it's slightly faster, but you do have to move to, you know, where the toilet roll is in order to actually do it. As soon as it stops being white, you can pretty much run to the door. Now one thing I like to do is if I've got a limb showing like that, I'll try my best to hide it with one hand while the other hand moves the so. This level's not quite leaning though, so even though I've got like a little bit of leg showing, it should still be alright. Uh, we'll take a while on this one. Can't quite see the time, I think it's about a minute and a half or something. Well, well. So look, that was really badly hidden, you could see his leg, but I still got like 11,000 points. So you don't stress about like her. Uh, you know, hiding his body too much on this first level, it's actually pretty straightforward. Now in between levels, this is another thing. Sometimes you'll face the door, sometimes you'll face the credits. You know, that's another reason why we don't count all this in-between stuff. Hey, there's me though, he's my friend. Um, right, anyway. Museum. Again, all move closer if you can, advised. but we like I'm... Right at my boundary. Just entered the wacky wall so gallery. I can't move any further. Now here's a good starting position. Well, it's not good, but it's good for explanation purposes. But sometimes he'll drop. And you see his legs are like that? It means if you try and pull him through, your grip will just snap. So what you want to do is when you start, just move down, grab his leg, and pull it over. Simple. Now when you grab him, it might still snap, but you should be able to just pull him through with it. Now the idea with this one is we're going to pull that sculpture and make it fall right on top of him. So you dump him in that position, you move the legs, and you try your best to kind of move it over. Now even though this crap goes all the way over there, it's actually a bit deceiving because it's actually more towards this side than the other side. So you want to sort of move it so that his legs are curled up on top of him and then ideally all the hands are on there. There we go. Now that might be okay, it might not be okay, but honestly with this level it's a bit of a crap shoot. Sometimes you don't see him, but the cops will find him. Sometimes you'll see him either and the cops don't find him. So if I look around here, this looks like a pretty good hiding spot. It seems like that's happened perfectly. That's kind of the position you want to have for. So now when I open this door, the, location update is requested. the cops, well, they shouldn't find him at all. Where? There we go, perfect. I say it's a bit of a crapshoot this level, that's why I normally do it second. Because sometimes it can be luck based. But we got that fine. Now, uh, the next level is very cool. I'll tell you why. 
It's been this is a quick trip on here, which means you can this be here pretty much consistently in a run in five seconds or less. Especially if you move forward in your place. Mm. Now, anyone that's played it will know about this ring. The idea is you get the ring, you put it on the corpse, it floats up. Floats to the ceiling, or you can float it in this section for you to go. However, the way the game works is that you don't actually need to have it in your floating device. You can just have it floating on the ceiling. So what you're going to do is you're going to run towards this corpse. Pull him upwards, press the door, and then while the police are coming in, pull him up to the ceiling. Well. And even though in the cutscene he's floating back down, it counts as a perfect, a perfect hiding spot. I mean, it's not a specific hiding spot, it's an environmental one, but still, easy peasy, 100% consistent, lovely jubbly. This next one is equally and this B5. one is going to require us using the high spot right next to four seven five Harry Chest Road. So here, there's this weird filing this cabinet is that opens, but it opens like that, baby. So we're going to open that. His head is in a bit of an odd spot. If we grab him and try and yeah, our grip is probably going to snap. So you need to move his head a little bit. Chopper unit to dispatch. Chopper unit to you want to move it with one hand, grab his shoulder with the other, and then grab his shoulder there. That should be sufficient to pick him up and dump him. And then it's just a matter of grabbing his legs, doing it over here, and getting him in. Easy. If you're worried about him not being in properly, you can pull his legs a bit further down. But then, as soon as you pass, run through it, remember, no collision, and then quickly pull it back. Now, sometimes it'll get stuck, so I like to pull it back a couple of times, just to grab it in. And then it's hidden. That's all there is to it. Walk through the car, grab the door, and it's hidden. Easy peasy. Well, well. Ta da! The next level is also a doddle, and also a pretty quick one too. So in the space level, which thankfully is put right next to, what we do to hide this? All units be advised. I know I like to all this stuff. Suspect Oops. reported in the disco hit, orbital uh, heard station. Heard me my cabinet. Well, I'd say just hit the stuff. Right, anyway, grab his body. He's pretty light, so off. just walk towards here. Duck down. Grab the handle, pull it up, keep a hold of him to pull him towards you. Open the toilet, pull him towards the toilet. This will take time to pop, so it doesn't matter if he floats away a little bit, because you'll need to pull him towards the creature. The creature will suck it, and it's gone. You don't even need to wait for like the creature to suck him in, you can walk straight towards the door, turn around, quickly check, and as soon as he's disappeared, press the door. Nice and simple. You can even anticipate and well, do it well, just well. before. Um, but honestly, it's not really worth it for the sake of a second or two. Uh, if you're going for a world record, sure, but uh, honestly, it's a nice straightforward spot. Now we move on to the, the difficult level of the run, the one that's truly difficult, and that's Diner. Now, Diner is my nemesis. All units be this advised. is why I do Diner we first, just progress. because. Suspect Getting located in hidden is at such Boogie a Bites Cafe. So I'll try my best to explain this, but honestly, Unit 12 to dispatch. it's one of those difficult no levels. We're on the move. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him over there in the extractor. The reason being is because he's extracted does a lot of the Unit 7 to Even Make though that received. dishwasher is actually closer, what I find with the dishwasher is Chopper, it can be fiddly taking this out there. and then getting his body in there and then fitting him like that. So it's easier just to, you know, grab him here. Hopefully I can get him past him. Yeah. Grab him here, drag him over here. Dump him right in front. Open the extractor fan, grab him by the shoulders. And then just walk through the extractor fan to help him. Okay. And if you're lucky, you can just grab this with both hands. Pull it up. Keep one hand up there, and close. Sometimes his limbs will fall out, 
sometimes it won't close properly, but whatever. This time it went relatively smoothly, but yeah, that was just luck more than anything. Sometimes you can be put on the button and it won't show. However, I found that it's a little bit open, it doesn't completely show, like it sticks there. That's good enough. If it's completely open, don't work. Have you even tried bin bags and throwing them up there to try and block it? Doesn't work. Um, but yeah, as far as I gather, this is the fastest hiding spot. But this is the level I'm not too sure about. So if you want to experiment with any level, this is the one I'm really not sure. At the diner. So anyway, do that. And then of course, there's a nice bar here with all this toast and bacon and stuff. Can we just walk So I walk through it, We're on the scene. grab the door, and the one ends. That's literally it. <laughs> I actually did that pretty fast in well, well. talking. But yeah. The time ends as soon as you open the final door, but, you know, don't stress about that. Because as I say, we've got all these different timers. And when it says it's got so much time left, you just add all those up together. And jobs are done. Anyway, that's a tutorial for Hide the Corpse. Really, really fun game. And one that's quite fun to speedrun as well. Uh, give it a shot. Try and use this uh, walkthrough to help you get like uh, you know those initial steps, and try your best to improve it. Like this is still really much the start of the speedrun. This is my second variation. I had another variation that had some changes in some of the levels, but this one I'm pretty happy with. And I say, apart from that one level, I'm happy with this route. So until someone, including myself, manages to find a new route. This should be a good starting point for anyone wanting to speak with you. Anyway, good luck. Hope you can hear the world record.